before I start, I just want to mention a few quick things about a guy here called Kevin McManus. Now, he's a big Prince fan, a huge Prince fan, and he's created um, a YouTube channel, and he's done some Prince videos. He did uh, the top uh, 38 Prince albums, and he ranked them, like 1 to 10, and then 10 to 21, 21 to 38. And it's really interesting. He, he sort of has some great opinions about Prince. He's clearly really into Prince, really knowledgeable about Prince. He also comes at it from a kind of a... Uh, a New Zealand perspective, a different perspective on things, a kind of a, a different view of Prince's work. And he's a really enthusiastic guy, fantastic guy. His YouTube channel is going to be underneath this video, so there's a link there if you want to click on it and check it out. It's really worth checking out. So, you know, you can see what decisions he's made, you know, in his top 10. Do you agree with that or do you think there's, there's different albums that need to be in there? But one thing about this guy, he's passionate about Prince, you know, he knows a lot about Prince and he's really enthusiastic. So hopefully he's going to, you know, get lots more people looking at his videos and really get kind of a, you know, a lot of interest going in that because there's some really interesting stuff, really interesting opinions he has. And hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'm going to try and get him to work with me on a couple of videos too. So check him out, Kevin McManus, check out the link below and uh, check out his YouTube channel on Prince. So welcome back to the Night Child Reviews Prince. We're looking at Prince's 1990 Graffiti Bridge album, Day 17, Track 17, the very last track of this album. And it's kind of reprise, it's kind of extended version of the new Power Generation called the New Power Generation Part 2. Um, I actually like this song. I think it's fun. I think it's kind of a, it's it's everybody letting their hair down. It's a kind of a, you know, all everybody's getting together from the film and the, and the album to for a final kind of curtain, a kind of final curtain call of the project. You know, it's it's we're we're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy this. And um, you've got TC Ellis in there. You've got Tevin Campbell. You've got Mavis Staples. You've got Prince. You name it. Everybody's you know thrown in there. Um, I love the fact that it fades up and you've got kind of Mavis saying, "Don't pick my apples. Don't pick my." Peaches, leave my tree alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. It's just bizarre, you've got kind of Prince in the background doing the kind of, we are the new power generation, this loop which is kind of going on there. Prince add these vocals and chants. Um, you've kind of got this guitar work in the background which is very easy to miss and it's really quite cool guitar work. Um, it's a shame it's not a, a bit higher in the mix. Um, you've got TC Ellis who says, kid, you're a kid. You know, I gotta do this, I got the noise, I gotta do this man. And Prince sort of lets him rap and he goes on to this rap about, you know, cocaine was a thing that I took on. And, and uh, at 1.43, you've got one of my favorite bits where it goes, love to the left of me, love to the right, can't make a noise somebody, party tonight, which is um, part of the maxi single, this fantastic maxi single. Um, the New Power Generation maxi single, which has Love Left, Love Right, and uh, Lubricated Lady, and has some fantastic tracks on that. So it kind of, it, it's great that it kind of references that in that song. Um, you talk about, uh, TCL talks about, you know, to remember the truth, you can't go wrong, the flesh is weak, the spirit is strong. Um, there's a great bit of two, two minutes where Terry Hamill says, you know, you want me to what? And Prince goes, shake, shake, you want me to what? Shake, which is quite funny. Um, and it's got a fantastic ending. It's like it all goes, it's like Vegas, like da 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 da. And it's like, it ends like positivity, the song from Love Sexy. It kind of ends with this kind of like the water effect and you have Prince's voice kind of really pitch shifted down going, the new power generation have just taken control. And then it, it goes into this kind of ethereal, ah, like a heavenly kind of like, ah. It's fantastic and you've got, it's got these water sounds in the background. It, it's just like positivity, that song. It's just, you know, it's fantastic. Kind of a, it's a fun track. It's not really, um, it's almost not a track in the sense of it's more almost like a, just a, an extended version there, kind of like a, you know, just a, just a bit of fun. It's, it's, it's fun, it's great, it's funky, you know, I really do love it. To talk about the album uh, in its entirety, I would just say that I think you know, there are some highs on this album that are off the charts, really phenomenal. I think it is a kaleidoscope of different musical um, ideas and notions. I think it's a real family affair with so many other artists brought in, The Time, Tevin Campbell, Mavis Staples, T.C. Ellis. Robin Power, you've got, you've got so many people involved with this project, it's just a real kind of family affair. Um, I also think, you know, there's pulled so many gems from the vault, um, songs that have been waiting for ages to come out, you know, Wicked Funk, Tick Tick Bang, stuff like that. You've got some of the best single songs Prince have done, Enjoy and Repetition, Question of You, Thieves in a Temple, you've got these phenomenal songs. So I think, you know, this is a, a real kind of patchwork of different ideas. Um, if you're looking at an album where every, every song's consistent and the same and you know, it's all very, very consistent and very put then this is not the album. This is an album of you know leaps and bounds and jumps and, and experiments and this is a, an album of, of phenomenal tracks and, and there's other tracks that perhaps get lost compared to it. This is a real kind of family affair. This is quite interesting in a sense because 
Purple Rain, obviously, the, uh, you know, the, the album was just Prince's songs. It didn't include Des Dickinson songs. It didn't include the Time song. It didn't include Apollonia songs. And I think here, although it's a completely different project, Prince has tried to put all those songs onto one album. He's put the Time on here, he's put Mavis on here, put Tevin on here. He's put everybody on this one album to give it a much more extended feel. So it's a very different treatment of an album than Prince often does to include all these people that he's worked with actually on the album. And it's quite unusual, certainly at the time, it was very unusual for Prince to do that. It was quite a departure from these real pure solo projects, like the one before with, uh, with Batman or, you know, or later on. Uh, kind of you know song albums where he's really just been Prince alone in the studio, the one man band if you like. This is a very very different project, so certainly worth a look. Anyway, let me know what you think, and I'll be back very shortly with um, some Ingrid Chavez albums, and we're also going to be looking at Prince's other great spiritual album, possibly one of the best regarded albums uh, in the Prince discography called Love Sexy. See you soon.